Representative Altendorf. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, following up with Representative Carroll, uh, his question regarding the um, taking the temperature at the airports, isn't it true then with the amount of blacktop that is in that area of the airports that that's going to increase the temperature in those areas? Mr. Graves? Um, I, I don't have an answer to that question. Representative Altendorf, do you have a follow-up? Thank you, Madam Chair. Also, um, on your graph of the weather changes, future potential, uh, could you explain to me why that ends at 2010, 2012? Mr. Graves. Um, that was the limit of the data step up from the National Weather Service, though there are other, other projections that, that uh, bring that data set uh, forward and shows the, a similar trend of of increasing temperature and uh, rainfall events. Representative, did you have a follow-up? Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, just one more, and then I guess just going forward, you know, we're talking about you know thousands and thousands of years, and we're just we're just taking a little glimpse, and it seems like the projections are really quite high. You know, I mean, when we're looking at a small data point, it really is a small data point over thousands of years you know, the projections continue upon that, but when we're taking just a glimpse of history, it's probably not accurate to continue at that same projection. Did you have any um, response to that, Mr. Graves? Um, I've actually, I've received that question a few times. I, I think it's a good point that kind of reinforces the argument that it's probably not um, a great source of data to just look at 30 years of, of history uh, from weather stations uh, in general as an import for for design uh, you know whether that's climate change or or other you know reasons looking at this very small segment of data that uh, it sort of reinforces the need for this research to come up with you know what's the right forward thinking use of data and, and climate projection for the operating life of the building that might be 50 years, 70 years, 100 years. Um, I appreciate that. Okay, just final. So thank okay. you, thank you, Madam Chair. Just, I mean, just in a final comment, and obviously, you know, when we're taking all of our data from the airports, it is it is scientifically reasonable to say that is that is higher temperatures that's being generated from the blacktop. And us in our state and also across the country, we're, we're making a lot of assumptions um, and we're spending a lot of money towards climate and energy based on these things that, again, do seem like as we're picking and choosing numbers, looking at graphs and not looking at other things, uh, numbers, numbers and data can be scaled to our own um, desired outcome. 